Morning, all of you. This is Dr. Nesh Sir. Good morning, sir. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, sir. In our online lecture series of artificial intelligence. This is our lecture number fifteen, and today we are going to discuss uh, one more algorithm in case of the artificial intelligence. That is the min-max algorithm in artificial intelligence. I hope all of you have. Uh, gone through the whatever content we have studied up till because uh, now we are at the end of this unit okay uh, if you try uh, if we, if we, if it is possible today we will cover uh, what is the remaining portion is there okay now up till we have seen the number of algorithms uh, related with the artificial intelligence so in case of the category uh, like uninformed search and the informed search category so i just want to ask you which are the uninformed search algorithm we have studied yes which are the uninformed search algorithm that we have studied yes tiwari which are the different uninformed search algorithms yes sir breadth ah uh, yes breadth first search okay depth first search okay. uh, depth limited search okay. and iterative or uh, depth first search. depth first search okay yes archana tiwari tell me which are the informed search techniques or the algorithm that we have studied एओ स्टार अल्गोरिदम ओके ए ए स्टार अल्गोरिदम गुड ए सर्च अल्गोरिदम अ हम्म हम्म बेस्ट फर्स्ट सर्च अल्गोरिदम अंडरस्टूड ओके दिस आर द पॉइंट वी हैव स्टडीड अ नाउ यस पंकज टेल मी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अनइनफॉर्म सर्च एंड द इनफॉर्म सर्च अल्गोरिदम्स बड़े पंकज कैन यू हियर मी यस बड़े पंकज यस कैन यू हियर मी और नॉट इफ नॉट देन आई हाँ यस हाँ टेल मी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अन इनफॉर्म एंड द इनफॉर्म सर्च हम्म have you gone through the video once again yes kale akshada tell me the difference between the uninformed and the informed search algorithms yes archana tanpure tell me the difference between the uninformed and the informed search techniques निकम श्रद्धा इनफॉर्म सर्च में द इनफॉरमेशन रिलेटेड हाउ टू रीच द गोल स्टेट इज प्रोवाइडेड ओके एआई एजेंट यस एंड अन इनफॉर्म सर्च में देयर इज नो इनफॉरमेशन रिलेटेड टू हाउ टू रीच गोल स्टेट ओके वेरी गुड Okay, those students are not responding. Definitely, it will affect on their uh, uh, internal marks because already the videos are there, and you have to just take the effort effort to just go through it. If it is not understood, and I have asked if if not understood, you can comment in that. But you are not doing that also. So definitely, I am marking those students who are uh, not answering right or wrong. I am not expecting the only the right answer must be given. If if you given something wrong answer also related to that then we can clarify it but if you are not speaking the single word then what is the use 
understood so accordingly i will going to mark the things okay let's start with the today's session uh, that is the min max algorithm in the artificial intelligence okay now first thing we need to understand whatever algorithms up till we have studied the main aim of that all algorithm is nothing but what these algorithms are for the purpose of ai agent for the ai agent in the sense how the ai agent can start from particular initial point or uh, starting location and how you can reach to the goal point or the target location correct or not yes sir that much up till we have studied and related with that algorithm we have studied but here today we are going to see some different approach okay suppose we want the ai agent should play the game okay what we want the ai agent should play the game now you know to play the game minimum how many players are required yes two two minimum two players must be there in order to play the game understood now we are considering yes, one player as a ai agent got the point yes sir as in, yes, in the sir. as in the application of the artificial intelligence we have studied what we have studied the one of the application of ai is nothing but the area of game playing correct Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, and the today's algorithm that is nothing but related with the that kind of point. Ki what kind of algorithm are, are there in AI, which will help the AI agent to play the game? Okay, and one of the popular of that is nothing but the min max algorithm. Okay, now this min max algorithm specifically being utilized. in the game theory to play the games understood here the initial point you can see here i have mentioned min max algorithm is a kind of it is kind of back tracking algorithm which is used in the decision making now when you are playing the game you need to make some decision that decision might be right or wrong yes. correct or not yes sir yes sir okay yes sir and so that in order to play that kind of game there is a utilization of min max algorithm first thing you should keep in mind understood what is the purpose of min max algorithm to play the game understood mm. now you know to play the game we might we are going to take the help of some another algorithm also that may be a, a informed search algorithm or that may be a uninformed search category algorithm okay the next we will see now like uh, i have shown you here the one example okay here i have shown you the one example that is the example of tic tac toe game i hope you must be getting correct okay so here you can see the this is the starting state and both the player has to play the game from this particular position got the point so one player might mark the x okay now this is the turn of one player correct or not yes sir now that one player might be uh, make the decision to play like this got the point that one player might be take the decision to play like this and that one player might be take the play uh, decision to play like this correct or not out of this yes, out of depends on its choice and depends on its intelligence correct or not yes sir and this is nothing but the next situation i have shown related with the another player another player marking his uh, move by using the o symbol correct or not yes sir and yes, accordingly sir. this game will be proceed and lastly the player will be one player will win the game or one player and the another player will lose the game is is it the situation correct or not yes yes okay now yes. how the min max algorithm can be utilized to play such kind of games that is nothing but our today's point of study okay so using the min max algorithm the it become possible to make the optimal move for the player assuming that the opponent is also playing optimally now 
during these uh, when the min max algorithm being utilized to play the game here different conditions are being taken care like other player which is playing against you is also as intelligent as you correct you are also assuming the same thing when you are playing the game against anybody correct or not yes, yes or no yes sir yes so same thing is being also taken care of while this min max algorithm being uh, designed okay now as i said it is kind of which algorithm backtracking so it uses the recursion it uses the recursion to perform the searching through the game tree now for what purpose the min max algorithm will need to perform the searching to decide which move will be the True. to decide which will be the most beneficial for him correct or not yes sir yes and so it need to do the backtracking and so that's why we mention it here it uses the recursion to search through the game tree now game tree is what this is nothing but the game tree got the point this is yes, nothing sir. but the game tree Game. So here I have used where in which kind of games this binmax algorithm is generally utilized. So mostly this game is this algorithm is utilized to play the game like chess, checkers, tic tac toe, go game. Now go game is also the one of the game like the chess game, but it is still more difficult than the chess. Okay, and various other two player games. so whatever the games are there where there is a need of the two players there this kind of algorithm being utilized do you understand where this algorithm utilize yes yes sir okay now let's see further how this algorithm is uh, some other feature related with this algorithm okay so here we are going to consider when we are going to apply this algorithm to play some game for example this tic tac toe game so here we are going to assume one player as a max okay this thing is very important what we are going to assume one player as a what max, max. and another player we are going to assume as a min 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 got this min. okay and this max and min player will fought will fight with each other understood so what is the max we are we have assume the one player as a max now what the max will try to do max will always try to maximize its value what does it mean max will always try to maximize its value means what it will trying to win it will try to win in the sense it will try to get the maximum point correct yes sir and its mm -hmm. opponent player that is the minimizer now minimizer will always try to minimize the value or it will always try to get the minimize the minimum value minimum why it is so because it, it it will try to minimize the score of the maximizer that's why it is called as the minimizer you got the point yes yes when the minimizer will minimize the score of the maximizer definitely minimizer score will be improved correct yes sir and that is nothing but these two player being assumed here in main max algorithm one is the max player who will always try to maximize its points and the min player we all who always try to minimize the point of maximizer player this much is understood yes, all of you understood if this is not understood then you cannot understand the further point do you understood the what max is doing and what the min is doing yes sir Yes, what sir. max is doing it will always try yes. to get the maximum point yes, and maximum what the min value. will try to do min will try yes, to do, always try to minimize the yes sir score of value. the maximizer yes, okay yes, so as i said this min max algorithm we are going to apply with the help of some an inform or the inform search technique so here we are going to utilize the depth first search algorithm okay combination of the depth first search and the min max understood and now let's see the min max algorithm proceed all the way down to the terminal node of the tree and then backtrack the tree as a recursion now how this min max algorithm will proceed first will what will what it will do always go down like this okay it will always go down and then from the down it will backtrack understand the situation how how the min max is going to be performed how first it will go down according to the depth first search got the point yes sir mm -hmm. and then it will 
back track with some values second point correct yes sir and then here yes. that values will be get compare and after comparing that value the decision can be made whether the player should go in this direction to make the movement or player should go in this direction to make the movement or the player should go in this direction to make the movement so that he can win the game got the point yes i yes, took 3 point 3 point with the help of the min max work first point is what first it always go down yes let me clear it first it does what always go down mm. with the help of property of the dfs then it do what it backtrack backtrack when it is backtracking it go on it go on updating the values okay we'll see how what how actually it happens let's understand the theoretical point first second point is what it backtrack and while backtracking it go on updating the values okay yes, and at this point he get some values and from that value he can decide what he can decide now whether movement should be made in this direction or in this direction or in this direction third point got the point yes sir okay let's see how it happens so that same point i have mentioned here that we have discussed like uh, the working of the min max algorithm is being we are going to discuss with the help of following example okay where we are going to take uh, one game tree and we are going to apply the min max algorithm on that particular game tree we have we already discussed what exactly mean by the maximizer what exactly mean by the minimizer etc etc you the one thing you should keep in mind maximal will always try to get the maximum values maximum score as much as possible where minimizer will always try to minimize the score of the maximizer okay let's see further uh, also we have discussed this algorithm being uh, utilized with the by applying the dfs okay where you have to uh, go through the deepest position okay to the terminal nodes and then we will backtrack so at the terminal node terminal node we are going to have some terminal values are given okay understand this point what at the terminal node means at this particular node suppose if these are the terminal nodes at this terminal node we are going to have some terminal values understood and what we are going to do with that terminal values we are going to compare that terminal values okay what we are going to do we are going to compare the terminal values and according to that we are going to do the backtracking fourth point what we are going to do we are going to go to the deep and deep we are going to have what terminal values what that terminal values what we are going to do with that terminal values we are going to compare that terminal values and accordingly we are going to do the backtracking this much is clear yes sir okay now compare with ha uh, yes ha uh, yes comparison means kaun si wale cha tarah sir that that we are seeing the example what okay. exactly what we are going to compare with what okay here i am just explaining the theoretical point then we will see apply that in the uh, example okay so that it will get more clear here you have to just keep in mind ki we are going to compare the terminal values okay okay let's see now let's apply it so here as i said we are going to apply this algorithm to some game tree okay this is our initial node okay and this is nothing but our terminal nodes all of you can see yes sir okay yes, sir. i read the step and then we apply the step in the first step the algorithm generate the entire game tree means like this and apply the utility function to get the utility values for the terminal state these are the utility values for the terminal state this this must be given understood what are these these are the terminal values or this is being also called as what the utility values understood this point yes sir okay and here we have the our initial state that is the a okay now let's see now you can see here now when you are playing the game is it like that if you play your turn next turn will be also played by you only yes do you understand what i am asking if you play your first turn okay mm. 
Hmm. Is yes. it like that next yes. term will also be played by yourself only? No. Upon next you have to give the chance to the your opponent. Yes. Correct. Next you have to give the chance to your opponent. 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 That is the thing being in this way the game tree is being given here. The first turn is being played by the maximizer, then minimizer, I then again minimize. maximizer, minimize. and this goes. This goes on. Correct. Okay. Yes. And so here first we assume that suppose maximizer take the first turn. What? Maximizer uh, take uh, takes the first turn. Now okay. here we have to assume. Here we have to assume some. Worst initial values for the maximizer, and worst initial values for the minimizer. Another important point. What? Here we have to assume the worst initial value for the maximizer and worst initial value for the minimizer. Minimize. Now, what can be the worst case initial value for the maximizer? Can you tell me what can be the worst case initial value for the maximizer think on it <laughs> do you understand the question kunti asnar sir worst case that i am told you, sir, you should question. think on it huh. nice sir, sir, question. sir question repeat again what can be the worst case value for the maximizer and what can be the worst case value for the minimizer you have to think on what what exactly, exactly so maximizer do you mean ha huh. yes initial so or initial any value, value ha huh. ha huh, yes what can be the worst case value for the maximizer Yes, no, no, sir. Starting huh? initial A, no, sir. No, no. If I don't think about anything about this, okay, we will come to this again. I am asking, what what is the role of the maximizer? What maximizer will always try to do? Maximize. Always try to get the maximum score. Maximize the value. Maximum. Always try to get the maximum score. Now, what can be the worst situation for him? Sir. Maximizer का मेंबर सिचुएशन होगा मिनिमाइजर का फर्स्ट जो टर्म होता है ना वो मैक्सिमाइजर को हमेशा उसकी हाईएस्ट वैल्यू चाहिए होती है अगर वर्स्ट केस हम यूज करें तो हम मिनिमाइजर का जो हाईएस्ट वैल्यू है ना मिनिमाइजर की वैल्यू इफ यू कंसीडर द वर्स्ट केस फॉर द मैक्सिमाइजर देन इट कैन बी द माइनस इन एंड मिनिमाइजर का मैक्सिमाइजर का जो सबसे हाईएस्ट वैल्यू होती है वो उसका वर्स्ट केस होगा दैट इज आई एम टेलिंग हियर तो वर्स्ट केस वैल्यू फॉर द मैक्सिमाइजर कैन बी द माइनस इंफिनिटी और नॉट माइनस इंफिनिटी और नॉट यस सर बराबर ना worst case हाँ. value for the maximizer क्या हो सकती है कि minus infinity minus infinity उसका lowest point हाँ और worst case value for the minimizer क्या हो सकती है plus infinity plus infinity got this point okay this assumption is very important here okay yes sir. so this is the first step where the game tree is being uh, formed and the terminal values are being given that is our first step let's see the next second step Okay, in the second step, what we are going to do? So, the first the utility values will be get. Then, as we know, the initial values, the worst case value for the maximizer is going to the minus infinity, and we are going to compare that terminal values with the worst values. Okay, now where we have given the terminal values here. Okay, now with what we are going to compare that terminal values with the worst case value of the maximizer that is worst case value for the maximizer is what minus, minus infinity. infinity what we have taken we have taken first turn being played by whom the maximizer got the point yes, who yes. will play the first yes, turn maximizer. maximizer but from maximizer. where the maximizer will start it will first go down as we have discussed correct yes sir. these are the yes, terminal sir. loads This is the first turn being played by the maximizer. Got the point? Yes, sir. Yes. So far, what will happen first for node D? This is the node D. Correct. Now this node D E 
F G. This is nothing but the number of possible moves can be made by the maximizer. Got the got this point? Yes. What I am telling you, these D E F G are nothing but the number of moves that can be made by which player? Maximizer. Maximizer. These are the four option available maximizer. with the maximizer that I am trying to tell you. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now for node D, he had to evaluate some values by using the terminal values. Now for node D here, okay, for this node D, what function we are going to have? Utility function what? Max function. Okay. Yes, sir. Now what the max function is taking? Max function will take the value of its child value value of the child that is the minus 1 what is the first child of the d h correct mm. what is its mayor value minus 1 minus 1 now with what he is going to compare that value minus infinity minus infinity, minus infinity. which one is the minus maximum minus infinity minus 1 minus 1 will be the maximum Out of the minus, Vaishnavi, switch up your mic. Out of the minus one and the minus infinity, which will be the maximum. Definitely, minus, minus one. one. What is the another child of D? Four. That is I, which I, is having the I. terminal value. Four. 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 In the similar four. way, four will be compared four. against the minus infinity. I have not written that minus infinity. <laughs> What will get four? Four. And then we will compare that minus one and the minus four. Max four. four. What will be max four. out of that? Four. 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 You can directly compare it also, but I am telling you from the scratch. Okay? okay. So that is the reason here D has got the value four. Understood this? Yes. In the similar way, the maximizer will apply the max function and try to get the values for the node E. Definitely, he will get the maximum value six. Yes, here. Yes, sir. For mm -hmm. node F, it will get the maximum value, value. minus three. Yes. And there, for the mode um, node G, it will get the three. which maximum value out of the zero and seven? Yeah, definitely, the seven. Seven. Now here the maximizer has applied this maximizing function, uh, maximizer function, and he has got some values. Okay, you you started from this point and you backtracking, correct? Yes, sir. And when you are backtracking, you are updating some values that we have done. Yes. Got this point? Now next is the turn of whom? Minimizer. Next is the turn of the minimizer. Then tell me which value now minimizer have two options. Yes. Six, now what will the value of B? Tell me. Six. Six. Four. Think about four, the four. role of the maximizer four. and minimizer that I told you. So four minimizer. Four. Four. Yes. Four. 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 Minimizer four. will always four. try four. to get the minimum value. Minimum value. Minimum value. Four. 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 Minimum value. See. Minus three. Minus three. three. Same. That is nothing but our step number three that we have done next. Here. In the next step, it is the turn of minimizer. So it will compare all the nodes with the plus infinity, plus infinity. and infinity. it will get plus the third infinity. year node value. So same thing we have done here. We have not compare it with the minus infinity. Uh, sorry, the plus infinity. But directly we have done here. But you got the procedure how to do it. Correct. Yes, sir. yes, sir. and that's why here the four and here is the minus three. Minus now tell me what minus is the who will be the who will be the next player to play? Yeah. Maximizer. Next maximizer. is the turn of the maximizer. 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 What the maximizer now? Maximizer have the two uh, movements he can do. Four, four inch. Four. So what will be here? Four, four, four. Four, four. four. max. Four. four. Understood. That is nothing but our next step. That is the fourth step that we have done. Now it's the turn of maximum, and you will again choose the maximum of all maximum. the node values and find the find maximum the value for the maximum value. So in this game tree, 
there are only the four layers okay now what we'll get here we have got here the four now what is the meaning of that now at the node a also maximizer function will get applied okay and it will compare out of the four and the minus three. that's why here value of a is the four do we got the same shape we apply first we go on backward sorry uh, depressed correct then we have backtrack utilizing some values and go on updating and we have the now node a now here now here maximizer has got the value four now here still the decision is pending who has won the game yes sir understood now maximizer has got the value four means here the decision can be taken by the maximizer what kind of decision can be taken can be take by the can be uh, made by the maximizer can anybody tell me based on all these algorithm we have applied and whatever the point we have reached what kind of decision will be made by the maximizer player that is my question maximizer try to increase their value no no add this point now that thing already we have done it. what what maximizer will do what minimizer will do etc etc add this point what will be the decision that will be taken by the maximizer as the main thing related to the min max algorithm it helps the player might be the ai agent player to take the best decision so that he can win the game do you understand the purpose of min max algorithm what is the purpose it is going to help the ai agent to AI make agent. the decision ata yes, help you got the point what i am trying to tell you yes sir now here tell me what decision will be taken by the maximizer player consider the maximizer player as a ai agent okay yeah then what can hmm. what decision he can take from all these things that being done think on it hmm do you understand what what whatever things we have done up till this point yes sir ha huh. do you understand the question mang back tracking gelo इंडिकेटिंग a b d to i now how this path is going to be get there with the help of this value 4 yes sir got the point what yes. this value indicating that maximizer instead of going in this direction to make the movement the maximizer if the maximizer want to win he should go in this direction yes or no yes sir ata he tumhala samjhu shakta पण हे आपल्याला कुणाला समजायचंय ही हे नॉलेज आपल्याला कुणामध्ये टाकायचंय हे नॉलेज आपल्याला ए आय एजंट मध्ये टाकायचंय अँड फॉर दिस रिझन वी नीड द सच काइंड ऑफ ऑल्गोरिदम करेक्ट अँड दॅट दिस इज नथिंग बट द मेन मॅक्स ऑल्गोरिदम गॉट द पॉइंट नाव देर आर द सम properties and some drawbacks of the min max algorithm that we'll discuss here property first this is the property it is complete means min max algorithm will definitely give you the solution if the solution is exist that is mean by the complete correct optimal min max as if both the players are very much intelligent what i'm saying if the both the players are very much intelligent compared to each other then definitely we are going to get the best solution that is the optimal solution now thing related with the time complexity the time complexity is same as the dfs because we are utilizing here the dfs correct or not yes sir and also the space complexity is also same as the dfs only now let's see what exactly the drawback of the min max algorithm is 
okay now can anybody tell me what can be the drawback of this thing, this particular algorithm now consider now we have we have assumed the example of uh, tic tac toe game okay tic tac toe game like this now can anybody tell me if you compare the choices has to be made and the movement has to be made in the tic tac toe game versus the choices has to be made and movement has to be made in the chess game which will be more chess game definitely if you compare the choices and the movement that are possible in the tic tac toe with the chess now tic tac toe is having some limited movements and the choices correct yes sir but think about the chess game chess game is having the very much number of movement and the choices i think more than 30 choices and more than 50 movements can be made by the one player correct or not yes sir now in case of that in case of that think about what will be the how this tree will look like it will be huge mm. correct or not he je tum the yes. things that you are observing here ki one player is having the two choices but in case of the chess is it the two or one or three four like this it is very much high yes. correct now in mm. that case do you think about the time complexity and the space complexity it will be huge yes or no yes because what the min max is saying you know to make the choices or you know to make the movement you have to compare each of these node with each other that we have done correct or not hmm we have to compare yeah. each of the node which is given there is there any node which we have not compare here no no we have compare each and every node and that is the drawback of min max algorithm if you try to apply it for the game like the chess or the go game its time complexity and the space complexity will definitely will be very huge understood because here we have to compare each of the node with each other each node has to compare with the whatever other nodes available there understood and because of that the space complexity and the time complexity of the min max algorithm increases huge understood and this limitation of the min max algorithm can be improved through the another variant of the min max algorithm and that is nothing but alpha beta pruning so alpha beta pruning is nothing but the solution to the drawback of min max algorithm okay now what is the drawback min max algorithm yes what is the drawback of min max algorithm sir we can say it is quite time consuming time consuming why it is time consuming because every node has to be compared with Haan. other nodes and it makes complicated it makes the code complicated it, to it understand completed if the game if the you if you try to apply it for the game like chess where the huge amount of choices and the movements are there correct yes sir yes sir then how the solution can be provided solution can be provided only if number of solution can be provided only if one node has to compare with the limited other nodes yes or no yes sir got the point the solution is nothing but what one particular node has to compare with some limited other nodes means what i'm trying to say here let's see here like as we have seen the particular h node yes. has to compare with the now here only one node is there got the point only yes sir one node is there consider here more than 2 4 or very much 100 100 is also possible yes or no yes sir means d has to compare itself in order to get the value for the d all these 100 has to be 
compare with each other yes or no hmm. according to the min max okay yes sir what we have to do in order to avoid this we have to do what we have to minimize these particular comparisons got the point yes sir and this minimizing the comparison only possible if another variant of min max algorithm can be apply and that another variant of min max algorithm is alpha beta prani okay the solution for this problem is what alpha beta prani that is nothing but our next algorithm okay and that next okay. algorithm we are going to see in the next session okay understood yes sir okay so that's it for the today thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir